So I got a 1997 Chevy truck with a 5.7 in it, and they want me to set the timing. So we're gonna hook a computer up to it. Hey, I got it running. I hope you can see this. We're gonna go to troubleshooter, go to engine. Um, let's try this. Inspection and adjustment. Distributor, there you go. Now, I should say what we need to do here also. Okay, slightly loose distributor, retaining bolt, start engine, monitor, you probably read that I guess. Um, we're on three, and it says that we need to be zero to two. So, we have to get up there and loosen the distributor, and, um, now the distributor's back here, and I don't know if you can see my fingers down there. There's a 13 millimeter bolt right there. And that's what holds the distributor in and tight in place. I got it loose enough that I can just barely turn the distributor. And it should stay there whenever I get where I want it to be. Okay, so somehow I lost the footage of me doing it up here. What I did was I loosened that distributor bolt to where I could just barely turn the distributor and had a little bit of resistance. I brought this canner over here where I could see it and then while it was running I just barely moved like sixteenth of an inch or so we're saying just ever so little bit and then you crack the throttle open to 1500 rpm and you'll see on the scanner the new value will come up and you do that until you get it to zero is what I did and when I read zero on the scanner, that's when I tightened that bolt down. After I tighten the bolt down, you rev it up once or twice and make sure your value is still at zero. I'll show you the scanner now with it running with the scanner on zero. So there you can see it's on zero. Like I say, once you barely move the distributor, you gotta rip the throttle up over a thousand. And make sure you're back to zero. Now, like it says here, you can go anywhere from zero to two. They said they was pinging going up hills and on. We're just going to start out at zero. So there it is. It seems to be running pretty good. I've seen some other things I wasn't happy with. The mass airflow sensor was reading high when you did a throttle dump on it it wasn't catching up so I cleaned that up we'll have to see what it does um, there is still a code for the throttle position sensor there's three wires on here a blue one is a signal wire to the computer the white one is a reference wire pan we're gonna call it and the black one will be your ground so you should have with the, just the key on you should have five volts on that reference and you should have hardly any resistance on the ground.